a lot of people are questioning whether you had something to do with this. Oh, I understand that. I, I, I do. When law enforcement first began investigating Melinda Duckett and her missing son, Trenton, detectives immediately had concerns about the single mother's lucrative side business. I'm very special surprise for you. Creating and performing in amateur adult videos, which Local 6 has obtained. Besides this strip tease shot just two months after a photograph of Melinda straddling a child's crib. And in another explicit video, a noise can be heard in the background which sounds like a baby crying. Doesn't really show very good moral character in my eyes. As part of their missing child investigation, authorities tell Local 6 they thoroughly looked into Melinda's involvement in the adult entertainment industry to see if the 21-year-old had made any enemies or possibly had given son away to someone she met while making the movies. But Leesburg Police and the Florida Department of Law Enforcement say they found absolutely and Trenton's disappearance. If she is uh, you know, conducting this activity and Trenton's within the home, that would raise questions as to who else was available in the home. Private investigator P.A. Turner works on behalf of Team Trenton, which was set up by the missing boy's father. Turner and his staff are looking into who may have purchased Melinda's videos and whether they had any direct contact with Melinda. ...position to place yourself into the position of selling adult entertainment as an individual where it can be traced back to you. This private eye is trying to find out if Melinda ever sold the videos herself out of her apartment. We do know that some of the movies were sold through this out-of-state adult video website. A source tells Local 6 the website operator paid Melinda to videotape herself nude and even provided the camera equipment roughly two years. Although detectives have ruled out any connection between the website and Trenton's disappearance, authorities acknowledge they never once interviewed the website operator saying, quote, we didn't need to. If there are other parties involved in the video, then naturally those are individuals that have somewhat of a uh, lack of a better term, an intimate relationship with Melinda. We don't know who these people are. We don't know what their background is. Following Melinda Duckett's suicide, investigators seized her video camera and her computer, but so far authorities are not saying what they found. Now, just to ease any concerns, police do not believe Melinda used Trenton in any...